I was set to go to uh, University College, London. My elder brother, who spent a year at uh, Case West Reserve, he was on a scholarship from U.S. Agency of the National Development. He highly recommended uh, Case Western Reserve University. He said that uh, the United States is a uh, land of opportunity and I was offered a scholarship. So it was an easy choice for me to come. I came to the university in 1966. My major was uh, mathematics and physics. The faculties were very approachable and I get to work uh, with uh, some of the most uh, distinguished professors at, uh, in the physics department, like Professor Leslie Foley, who, is, who was the institute professor, as well as Professor Philip Taylor. I did some research with them, get a lot of personal coaching. At the same time, because I was going to the liberal arts college, I got to learn other courses. I got exposed to economics, political science. I learned how to write better in English. All these things are very important later on in my career because it gave me a broad background and also learned critical thinking, uh, looking at problems in a different perspective. And this is truly helpful for me later on when I move into the business side of my career. Uh, Dean Kramer was uh, the Dean of Delbert College at that time. He was the person that my brother approached uh, considered con for my applications to uh, the college. And the dean was a very kind and very thoughtful person. And so when I came, I got to meet him, uh, talk to him quite uh, on a number of occasions. His office is always open. And he provided a lot of very sound advice for my learning and also eventually on uh, which career path. I should choose. After I got my degree in physics and did a postdoctoral education in physics, did some research at Johns Hopkins University, I decided to go into the energy industry. So I joined Shell Oil Company in Houston, Texas, and uh, that led me to a 40 years career in the energy industry. I uh, come from Vietnam, which I follow the pathway uh, of many of the Eastern uh, philosophies, which is Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. But the core value would be honesty, integrity, self-enlightenment, and also contribute to others and society. It is no different from the values in the US, particularly in the Midwest, and Case Western Reserve culture is also very congruent with that philosophy. I'm happy that I have been able to live my life according to the pathway that's set on my belief. The United States is unique. It's completely different from Asia, and it's also very different from Europe. So uh, when it came to the 1960s, uh, you know that was a time of turmoil, uh, there was uh, race riots. In fact, the race riot was in Huff, next door to the campus at the university. Then you have the civil rights movement. Uh, then you have the counterculture, the anti-war protest. Uh, there are lots of uh, ongoing change in the United States. At the same time, we also have tremendous amount of progress that is being made uh, in, the, in the science and technology, such as the space program, the computer technology was just beginning. Uh, the development of all the social programs in this country, like uh, the Great Society programs. So all these things are new to me. For someone who comes from another culture, it's hard to grasp. The most fortunate thing is university provide a lots of seminars, workshops, invited speakers, lectures, and uh, through all those media that, uh, me, that allowed me to develop an understanding of all these uh, important issues. And all that understanding actually, as I said, helped me tremendously in understanding American culture, adapt myself to American, American culture, 
and also help me help my career later on because I know how to interact with uh, uh, people from all different kind of culture. So I'd like to end this interview by uh, expressing my sincere thanks to the faculty and staff of uh, Case Western Reserve University uh, during the time 1960s where I spent my wonderful three years. Thank you, Case Western University. Thank you.